Welcome to Simply Solo Playthroughs with our top 5, 4, 3, 2, and number 1 games for the month of October. Any guesses as to what number 1 is? Put your guess down in the comments and let's see if you're right. So, let's, I wonder what number 5 is. So number 5 is my lunchtime game, Maiden Quest by Ken Shannon, published by WizKids Games. This is a really fun game. You are the main cat trapped in a castle trying to get your way out. And you have to defeat. If you take one, two, three, four, five cards. You spread them out. And you say, okay, I need to defeat this goblin. How do I defeat this goblin? Well, I'm going to need three swords and one of the fox. I can't think of what the fox is off the top of my head. Cunning. Oh, but look at this. We don't have five. But what we do have is we have this card, which allows us to put one onto the bottom to sell our card and draw the next card. And we have, now we have one. Now we have one, two, three, four. And we managed to defeat the goblin. We turn it over and we can upgrade one card and we will upgrade the manicured nails to have a sword and two cunning. Those go to the bottom of the deck and we draw the next five. One, two, three, four, five. And we do have our princess. We do have our um, our dress. Dress will shield one. We get one of anything. We need to defeat, we don't have to defeat this fire because this is our first time through. But let's see what we can do. We have one, two, three. Oh, one, two. Oh, so we're going to need to do something. So we will take this and turn it into a, into one of these. And that gives us all three and we defeat the evil squire. We get to again. Upgrade a card that was originally like this same same tokens and we will update the cunning to double cunning Go to the bottom of the deck and you keep doing that until you come to The rest card at which time you end the turn and you flip over the rest card and you keep going You have two of them for levels one two three and four That has been my Lunchtime game, Maiden's Quest. I wonder why number four is. Number four, number four is Maquis. One of my favorite side room games. And it's really fun because all you do is go and explore, collect things, come back, set up, cause problems, make sure that you finish by day 14. So you have a solid calendar on there that you need to do. And this is, this can get to be a really tough game. Because you only have three, and if you have a total of four, well, the Melise get four. You, If a Melise blocks your way, you can kill a Melise, but then you get a soldier. Can't kill a soldier. So you've got to be really careful on how you deploy, when you deploy. And the key to this game is... Point Levesque. Point Levesque. And this is probably the most important piece because this gets you back. You lose Point Levesque, you're probably going to lose the game. Because you're going to get captured. Okay, that's number four. Number three. Number three is Star Trek The Dice Game. This is one of my earliest games. It is also one of my earliest print and play games. And one of the earlier print and play games I went crazy on. This is a retheme of Space D6. And both this and Space D6 have been on Kickstarter at one time or another. You have differing event cards. This is the animated series version. Because I still love the animated series to no end. And um, I made a whole bunch of, I made a couple extra cards in here for this. You have your development cards. All based on the animated series. 
There's a couple of them that don't make sense, but that's okay. We'll let it slip. Your goal is to do your five-year mission. You have to complete certain tasks during your five-year mission. You have mission cards, which are a lot of fun. You have to do certain things, and you have to do it before your time runs out because you run out of dilithium crystals. It's that simple. Well, that's number three. Also, I should point out, this is a really cool board. And of course, everything fits within the box, including the dice. Oh, and you're probably gonna ask, what box is this? I can turn it up down. Escape the Dark Castle box. These are the best boxes for this kind of stuff. Let's go take a look at number two. Number two should not come as a surprise to most anybody. Star Wars, the deck building game, the Clone Wars edition. I've been playing this to figure out how to deal with Jar Jar Binks. Uh, zero cost card, definitely a different card. And I'm still kind of at the same point of where I was in the beginning, which is everyone just plays them. And I'm not a big fan of Duco and Mace Windu as leaders, but they're okay. The powers are okay. I do like Darth and Luke much better. But I really do enjoy the Clone Wars edition. And it's a lot of fun. It's a basic deck builder. And you just keep playing through it and you get your butt kicked. So, any idea what number one is? If you've been watching the channel, you know what it is. You should. It's October. What else would it be? Okay, any guesses to number one? If you've been watching the channel, it's probably pretty obvious. And it'll be obvious in weeks to come because I have quite a few videos to it. And that, of course, is Final Girl. And the one I've really been playing a whole bunch lately has been Geppetto. And Geppetto's been going through the whole of everywhere. I'm probably done playing him because I'm finding him too easy to beat now. But that said, I really do enjoy this game. It's a lot of fun. If you don't have it, it is well worth buying as a solo game. Um... You have feature films. They all have their own sets of rules and differences. And of course you can mix and match everything, which is the one really nice thing about it. it is one of the really nice things about it. You can mix the killer, you can mix the place, you can mix up the final girls. And they can all be different all the time. You don't have to follow any one specific methodology of doing things. And each feature film comes with two final girls. And they each have their own special power that they can get when you rescue X amount of people. This one's four. This one's six. Uh, let me just say... What you really want to make sure you do is reduce the horror level. Yeah, reduce, seriously, reduce the horror level. That will get you going further along towards the path of victory than anything else. Because then you get to roll three dice. And I hope you have enjoyed this. For the month of November, we're having something special. I'm going to be giving away a $25 Amazon gift card for those who like, subscribe, Put a comment down in the comments of this video on YouTube. Uh, during the month of November starts the time that this video is posted. And runs through November 30th, 11.59 p.m. Central Unit USA time. And I will send you a, co a code for a $25 gift certificate. You'll have to get in contact with me. But that's easy to do. 
YouTube nor its affiliates or Facebook or Twitter or anything is responsible for this contest, just simply solo playthroughs. And the winner will be chosen at random from primarily the comments. But you need to like, subscribe, and put a comment in. Thank you, and I hope that you have a fantastic day. And here's our top five of the month. I hope that you've enjoyed this. Please make sure that you like and subscribe, and I hope that you have a fantastic day.